All right, guys. So we're opening up on May 26, and we sent in an email. Hopefully, y'all got it. Hopefully, you've all read it. Kind of outlining some of the changes that are going to happen because it's not business as usual. Okay, as much as we all want to get back to normal, you have to accept that things have changed, and they will be changed for the foreseeable future. Yes, we want to go back to just how it was, but right now we can't. So. I'm gonna kind of explain and give you a little bit more insight to what we're doing other than the email. You read the email or hopefully you have. Uh, if you need to go read it, pause it, go read. Um, because some of it you're gonna have questions and maybe I can answer those questions now. And there's gonna be a lot of gray area and we're trying to do our best. Remember, we're trying to follow the guidelines to be open and stay open, all right? These are legal things. We have to play the rules. We don't want anybody to get sick if they get sick and it, you know, we contact trace and it's here, that means a lot of people are probably gonna get sick. We really don't want that to happen, okay? So one of the first things is we're gonna limit our classes to 10 people. I agree, we're used to having bigger groups, but I looked at some of the attendants and the, the boards, biggest classes we've had, 13, 15, and those are random Mondays and Tuesdays at 4.30, okay? The limiting to 10 people is so we can socially distance. I'm pretty sure you're all tired of hearing it by now, but we need to be able to provide and show the state that we've created a six foot kind of barrier, you know, between you and somebody else. So we have a way to do that. We have a way to set that up to give you a, you know, a little box that you can work out in, do all your stuff in uh, without encroaching on somebody else, getting too close to them, keep all your stuff in that box, right? So that's what we're putting together. That's gonna, the way we can do that is 10 people, all right? Now, granted, if we get to a point where we can, you know, grow or maybe we can add one or two, we will. But right now we have to keep it at 10. Doing that, right, some of you are still gonna be working from home, some of you are still gonna be, you know, doing odd hours. Well, if we encourage you to go to different classes, you can come to the noon, go ahead. It's never really been that busy, three to four people at the most. So if you're a 4.30 person, but you can make the noon, Go for it, all right? With that, not stated in the email, we're gonna get into that, the tribe's got a, a check-in feature, right? So 10 people are gonna be able to check in for the, for the class. This will be the first time we've ever done this where we've limited classes, so bear with us, but the idea is so that way you're not coming to class and 10 people are already here and you're like, great, I made the trip all the way down there for nothing or I can't wait to the, that class, I wish I would've known, that's what we're doing, okay? Um, that's gonna be a part of that. So I'll have a video explaining how that's gonna happen a little bit later on. Um, our class times have changed a little bit, all right? We have to allow for time to clean and disinfect the area, all right? That's not just you guys wiping down the equipment with a quick little wipe that you, you do. We're talking about mopping up sweaty spots. We're talking about making sure if we have any communal things, they're cleaned and disinfected and put back in the right area. So classes will start at four o'clock to five o'clock, 5.15 to 6.15, and 6.30 to 7.30. So that final class of the night's not any later, okay? The other classes have been moved up a little bit, all right? I know it might be, a, in, you gotta pick and choose, but a lot of you people, a lot of you guys are here early for the 4.30 anyway, and at four o'clock, you should be able to make. And some of you are right on the cusp or kind of coming in late to 4.30, well, that's the thing, we can't have that. We can't have people just kind of wandering in or hanging out in the building waiting for the next class to start. So there's gonna be specific times, okay? Those 15 minutes allows for us and you guys to kind of get your stuff together, clean up and get out because we can't have a lot of people in the same area. You can't have 20 people, 10 from each class, in the same area at the same time. The idea is that we'll have a 15 minute window where you can kind of float in and out, all right? Weekend classes, Saturday morning, we added another one, 11 o'clock, okay? I will be teaching 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. So that way, the busy class on Saturday morning, if you wanna to come to the 11, you can, or maybe if you've been, you know, oh my God, getting up early is gonna be rough because you've been sleeping in during this quarantine. Well, you can come to the 11. Also, it's 10 person, right? So if you wake up on Saturday and you're the 11th person to check in, it's either 11 a.m. Well, I can't help you, right? I know it sucks, but that's how this is gonna go, right? This is not, these are not my rules. If you don't like it, Dr. Governor DeWine, okay? We'll kind of 
setting up for the social distancing. We've got a humongous gym, but we're kind of working with the six feet and still having space to move. And then as these things kind of go on, we'll deal with it. Um, morning classes are going to be re they're going to be gone for right now. They're going to be reevaluated in July, right? It's just a lot to ask for somebody to be here at 6 a.m. for one or two people um, and do all the things that need to happen in order to make the place sanitary before and after. Okay, there's a lot that has to go on. Um, the biggest thing, this is going to cause the biggest problem, and I, I can feel it, and trust me, we've deliberated on this a long time. We're not going to allow children to be in the building. Okay, now, if your kids are taking class, that's one thing. So if you have a 13-year-old who's taking class, fine. Teenager taking class, you're fine. You have an, an infant, and they are confined, right? Pumpkin seat, pack and play, and we can move them out of the way, and they do, they're not able to move. You can bring that stuff in, you can take this stuff out. No toddlers running around. No seven-year-olds, eight-year-olds, nine-year-olds. They don't stay put in place, they don't socially distance, and they touch whatever the hell they want. And I know this, and I'm not gonna to, to watch you try to corral them and spend 90% of the class corralling them, because once you're in your spot, we kinda want you to stay in your spot. So you can't go fix problems for the kids and then come back, you can't, they, you know, they don't socially distance in the kids' room, okay? Rarely is there more than one or two sets of kids, but if there is, that's not fair to either set, right? That one person would get the space. Um, as we all know, kids are petri dishes. They are disgusting. My kids too. My kids are gross. Um, so the only way we can guarantee your safety and follow the guidelines of everybody being socially distanced and there not being uh, people congregating is to just not allow the children. This is not something we enjoy. We're hoping we can find a way to, it, that as through June, June goes through, we can kind of Maybe this will relax and we'll get to the point where in July, bam, back. But right now, you know, they barely opened up daycares. And even in there, I would not want to be a person trying to disinfect that place and keep those kids separated and they're limiting them. So we're not a daycare facility. We're not prepared for that. Um, our biggest thing is that our kids have been able to hang out and just chill, but they're touching the same things you guys touch. And since we can't, you know, disinfect all that and keep that away from them and socially distance them um, there's no way we can do it and you guys know your kids rarely stay in place they walk out onto the floor and we just can't have that you know they we set up a line and I don't think any one of your kids really gave a crap about the line very much so we have to do this for your safety for our legality this is how it's gonna go as soon as we can let them Kind of congregate and come back in of course we will we love them i love the kids i think it's hilarious when they're just doing whatever and you guys just i'm like oh my god yeah it's funny but right now we can't have them okay if they can be put in a pack and play and they can stay you can bring your pack and play you can come in and we can put it by the door we can put it in an area we can disinfect it but that's it All right it's the same as bringing in your gym bag okay it's your stuff but they have to stay in that and I don't think many of your seven-year-olds and six-year-olds are going to stay put. And don't try it, because I know they're not. I've met your kids. All right. Um, one of the smaller things, I put it on Facebook, no jump ropes, right? Bring your own. Why? There's no way to hang them all individually around so that they're, once they're disinfected, they can stay there and not touch anybody else's. Barbells are pretty easy. Jump ropes, you should have your own jump rope anyway. They're cheap, you can buy them on Amazon. I recommended two on Rogue that I have personally used. They're fantastic, they're versatile. And one for those of you who love jump ropes and double unders, maybe you want a better rope. The one who you hate double unders, you don't feel like you're able to get them, but you want a decent rope, all right? So there's two grades there. Either one are fantastic. I've used them for years and I definitely recommend them. So take care of that. When we didn't put on there, we're going to eliminate the use of communal chalk buckets. Okay, now how we're gonna go about that, we're still trying to figure out what's the safest way, is there a safe way? Um, I know I'm gonna order myself a little chalk ball, a little chalk inside of like a cheesecloth, um, so I can personally keep it on me so my chalk doesn't get used by other people's chalk and 
If I get it and I'm, I'm asymptomatic, I don't want to spread it to you guys. That makes, I mean, that's kind of the idea. You can get them on Rogue from anywhere from 550 to like 10 bucks. You know, a little Ziploc baggie and they got a little thing and you're not chalking the bars, you're not chalk, you don't need to chalk your pull-up bar. Because in truth, that's, I mean, none of y'all doing, you know, aerials and stuff like that. Some of you chalk crazies, um, you need to chill out with that. <laughs> but the idea being four people going to the same chalk bucket, that can't happen anymore. You know what I mean? I mean, there's a freaking plexiglass between you and the cashier at Kroger's. I can't have two people going to the same chalk bucket. Um, if you want, get your chalk ball, bring in a Ziploc bag, bring it in your bag. You got your own chalk, that's yours, you take it home with you. That's very similar to a jump rope. It lost easily a month to three months, unless you're Scott. Um, I think that's one of those easy personal items that you can take care of. Um, Resigning up, yes, we're kind of changing the billing, we're making it easier, we're making it more streamlined, and we're trying to make it a little bit cheaper for a lot of you, 99 for unlimited, 75 for three days, you will re-sign up, you will still have access to Tribe, um, you just will not pay through Tribe, right? We're gonna, you're gonna do it directly to the gym, that way we have a little bit more control over what you're being billed, how it's going out, all those things. Um, you can talk to, you send Nathan a message if you have questions on that, he's got all the info on that. Don't message me, I don't know any of that. Okay, me work out, him pay, okay. Equipment returns, all right? Thursday and Friday, I'll be here. Um, three to 4.30 is really when the best times to be dropping it off are. I'll be here a little bit prior to, in the two o'clock range, but you know, I can't guarantee that because every day is a little different. But you need to return the equipment this weekend. Excuse me. I know it's Memorial Day, but not a lot of you should be traveling. Some of you are going, uh, but you shouldn't be going far. So try to return it. Um, I will be here Saturday from 10, 15 to noon, pretty much after I leave work. The UPS, I'm coming here and I'll hang out till noon. And then Sunday from 10 a.m. to noon, it'll be, I'll be in here. I'll probably be doing stuff here, um, but you can return it, okay? Monday, I'll be here, depending on the weather, around 8 to 8.30ish, and I'm gonna do Murph here. You can return your equipment, but I'm not stopping my Murph to sign you back in, so prepare to either wait or, you know, be cool, but that's just how it's gonna go, okay? It's Memorial Day, it's my more Memorial Day, and well, it's yours, so that's how it goes. That's how I spend mine. Um, please try to disinfect what you've used, at least the surfaces you can. Um, I know most of you can, you know, Lysol wipe it, whatever it is. Um, just so that way, we're gonna disinfect it too, but before I gotta touch it and handle it, um, that'd be helpful, okay? If you have questions, type them out. I'm gonna ask that you don't message me or text me because I get a billion messages a day between you guys, between UPS, between my kids, the schools, all those things. The easiest way is to email CrossFit Battery, all right? If it's a uh, finance membership question, Nathan can answer those sometimes. If it's a question about what's going on, either one of us can answer it. That way, you don't sit in limbo waiting for me to respond, all right? If I get 10 messages, chances are I'm not responding to them right away, okay? I have other things to do as well, so it's easier to email us. It's right there. We have a timestamp. We can get to it. If it sits on my phone, I apologize. It's just how it's going to go, okay? I'm not perfect. Um, but if you email your questions to CrossFit Battery, we can take a look at them. We can make sure we answer them correctly and that we give everybody the same answer, all right? That way, if it's a question we weren't prepared for or maybe we don't have an exact answer to, maybe it's gonna spur us on to make sure we've covered that base so that way everybody gets the same response. All right, guys? So, sorry about the kids, I know, but if you think about it, if you've ever seen your kids pick stuff up, touch stuff, and lick their fingers, or lick their fingers and touch stuff, or pick something up and lick it. That's gross. And I, in this age, nobody wants to get sick. None of us want to get this, right? Regardless of how fatal it is, it doesn't matter. No one of us want to be sick like this, all right? Chris Spieler had it, he's got videos. He's a top level CrossFit athlete, super fit, super healthy, and he sounded like he 
was dying. Okay, and it took him weeks to get back to his cardio and recover and all that stuff. And he's probably one of the fittest human beings out there. So nobody wants to get this, all right? Nobody wants to have to go to the hospital. Nobody wants to be at home sick and quarantined from everything they're doing, okay? So this is just our way of prepping and keeping everybody safe. Okay, guys? Again, I can't wait to see you guys on the 26th. Um, I'll put out another video on the check-in and everything like that. Awesome. Thanks.